Of course, I have to talk to you guys about the big season seven finale. With I think it's Nathan. He's been shot. He's gone. I want to know your immediate reaction when you read what was going to happen at the end of the final episode. If I can be totally candid, uh, I wasn't in that scene, so I didn't read it. <laughs> I was just going to say, she doesn't read the scripts. <laughs> but no. she beat me to it. No, if I can be, what I was going to say, for real, is if I can be totally candid, um, that ending went through many, many, many uh, metamorphoses before we got to what it was. That moment, especially with Elizabeth tearing out of the mercantile and then and then she sees him in that relief and then she runs into Nathan's arms and then Lucas is, it's, um, I mean, I just feel like that moment captured the entire season and really put like a button on the whole season of what what was happening, what the theme, the overall theme was for this year. It was very uh, poignant, and I think it left a lot of parties really. I, I'd like to actually know if people, after watching that finale, if that changed which team they were on, Team Nathan versus t Team Lucas. Reading it, and when we were filming it, I felt one way about which, which, who I thought she would end up with, and then when I've watched it, I found myself kind of swaying quite a bit. And then the ending really left me more undecided than ever. How do you feel, Kevin? I, I'm a bit biased because I, I mean, I, I read the script. Because he doesn't like one of the actors. And oh, that's, that's, <laughs> completely, that's completely false. I, I tend not to dwell on those scenes very much. And I think I'm kind of putting my head in the sand a little bit because I don't, I don't want to lose one of them. I don't want, I, I, I don't want one to win because that means the other loses and I don't know what that looks like in the context of the show. No one's kept me up to date as to whether the other person is sticking around or not sticking around. And they are both such great guys. There's something about those two guys coming onto the show that has really sort of brightened things a little bit, even more than we were. And I, I just kind of—they're they're incredible. I yeah, agree. They're, they're great guys, and I don't want to—I don't want to lose one of them. So I tend to not pick a side, and I tend not to watch those scenes too much because I don't really want to be faced with it yet. Regardless of who Elizabeth chooses, the other can absolutely stick around, strike up a romance with someone else, or There's get hit by a carriage and die. You no. never know. You never know in television. You just don't know. Well, I absolutely agree. I think it's just, I think a question, more a question of, do they want to? Mm-hmm. Elizabeth has just gotten a book deal. From a publisher in New York. That's amazing. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. When we spoke on set in September, Kevin, you were team Nathan. I think the show was always about a Mountie. And Elizabeth. And Elizabeth. His character and her character kind of give each other the gears a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Kind of like that. Pascal, you were also Team Nathan. I was always thinking Lucas, and then I watched the season. Okay. And I saw that final moment when Nathan walks out with yes. his little puppy dog face, and I thought, oh, she belongs with Nathan. I was wrong all along. So now that we've seen the season seven finale, I have to put you on the spot and ask, is it Team Nathan or Team Lucas? Early on, watching this season, early on, I was Team Nathan. I definitely still felt that's who she should be with, and I felt like a lot of the scenes led that way. And then Lucas, like, just upped his game, like, and I feel like pulled the rug right out from under Nathan and was like, I'm not messing around, I'm all in, and, yeah. and I, was swept up in that. I felt like that's a really bold, ballsy move, and I appreciated that, and I thought, yeah, this Ball. is who Elizabeth should be with. And then we had that last moment in the finale, and I felt like then suddenly I don't know. I really don't know. I, um, That's what I think. Sooner or later, you're going to have to decide. I know. I think 
by not deciding. In a way, I'm protecting myself from letting in either of them. Elizabeth, we all have our own path. And when the time is right for you to choose, you'll know. I think Rosemary, more than anything, has, has been like the most vocal supporter of Team Elizabeth saying, I am just so excited that you are open to the possibility of love. I think Rosemary has been wanting to encourage Elizabeth to go down that road of just opening her heart out, her heart up. Mm -hmm. And who knows where that'll lead. I think Rosemary acknowledges she's gotten in pretty deep now and a, dis a decision, whatever that decision is, A, B or C, sure. needs to probably happen. Yeah, Rosemary seemed a little frustrated. Like, girl, come on. Yeah. And yeah. I guess Elizabeth, she's taking her time. She, she, it's not like Elizabeth is just, you know, twiddling her fingers. She, she went through something extremely harrowing. So I do understand the pace at which she's moving. It's respectful. And it's a woman who, who went through, you know, something truly traumatizing. Totally. But I'm hoping in season eight, we see a little more progress. Yes. Yeah. One, one way or the other, I think this will all be resolved in season eight. Okay. Yes. I want to applaud both of you because I've said this so many times, but it's so true. You guys are the Ricky and Lucy of the show. You make us laugh. You bring us so much joy, but you showed us something really dramatic and emotional in season seven that absolutely brought me to tears when we thought we might have lost Lee. Um, it was a harrowing moment that I do not want to revisit as a hearty. Kevin, how hard is it or is it hard? to lay there in bed and be completely still as all your coworkers and you know the, the cast and the crew, everybody's running around you. Okay, quick story, piece of cake. Reason is because it was a cold day that we were shooting this mm -hmm. and I'd been, I've been nice to the crew since I've been there and I'm professional, I do my job, I'm trying to be respectful to everybody. So they covered me in hot water bottles. I was laying on a bed of hot water bottles. I had wow. hot water bottles all over my body. So everybody else was freezing their butts off and I just lay there comfortable, just went to sleep, just had a nap. Okay, so that was chill for you. Super chill. Uh, Pascal was working hard. I mean, yes, you delivered was. such beautiful work, Pascal. You should be so proud of yourself. What goes through your mind to, to get yourself in a space where you've got like tears streaming down your eyes and, and we're seeing Rosemary in a serious way that I don't think we've seen her in a very, very long time. I, I've always believed you just need to be in the moment. Like you just need to be your character and really imagine what that moment is like. I don't, I've never been a one for like sourcing. I, I just sort of never found it effective for myself to like source outside of the character. Like I just need to be in the character and in that moment. Mm -hmm. And from that, the, whatever true emotion will arise. I will say though, that I, I, I felt like to depict and convey the severity of the situation, I really felt that we needed to see a complete uh, opposite of Rosemary than we normally see. Rosemary's normally so theatrical, so larger than life. And I felt like for us to really see how, how profound this moment is for her, we need to see the opposite of that. No matter how much I may want a child, the only thing in the whole world that I really need is you. Are Lee and Rosemary gonna revisit the idea of starting a family in season eight? Well, we've been talking about it off and on for quite a few seasons now, and we both feel that this is something that has to be addressed. It's touchy. I mean, it's hard to figure out the right way to go. Do, which way do we, is it a natural birth? Do we adopt? Do mm -hmm. we, which way do we approach this now? We have a baby on the show already. Do we bring another? It's, it, I mean, there are, some mechanics to work out but we both feel that that and and the network and the writers also feel that it needs to be the next evolution of this family they these two are they deserve it they they oh, deserve right. this um and they've they've both been you know this is a loving family and i think this would be a good place to bring a kid into and then i think on an acting note, Pascal and I would just eat it up. There's so much good material. There's so much fun and so much heart to be had that I think we would, I, I vote for an animatronic baby. What do you say? They say exactly the same thing as Kevin in that it's much like the love triangle. Uh, I, this is a storyline that's been like 
you know, percolating for a long time and we need answers now in, in going into season eight. And so I know Kevin and I have been campaigning very hard uh, behind the scenes for more of a resolution on that topic in season eight. The, and uh, what that will end up looking like, we've been brainstorming a lot of ideas um, with our writers and with the producers and we have certain ideas. We don't even necessarily agree between the two of us what that what the right path is, but we have a lot of ideas. They have a lot of ideas, and uh, something will be resolved in season eight for sure. We don't agree. And if they don't write it, we're just going to make it up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Can you tell me what what it is you're disagreeing about? She wants I really a baby. I want to adopt. I need to see Rosemary pregnant. I think. I agree. I, I think. I want to adopt. And Kevin thinks we should adopt, mostly from a. A logistics point of view it's very challenging filming with a baby the, the babies are unpredictable and that's what I love and that's what Kevin hates <laughs> moving into season eight a lot of fans would love to see more than 10 episodes in a two-hour Christmas movie. yes is this something you want to do absolutely yes we have been talking about this for years. a couple years now I brought um, it up first Kevin did Kevin, I did and, and Kevin when he first brought it up I was like Kevin, they're never gonna go for it. Just, you know, don't, this is not the the battle you wanna die on. Just pipe down, it's not gonna happen. But it's like slow, you know, he he's, he's whispered it enough times that it started to gain some momentum. And now, like the Hardys have got on and it's like more Hope Valley. And uh, I, we, we couldn't be more thrilled. I, I don't know, how many would you like to see, Kevin? I was hoping for around 18. I think oh, whoa, whoa. 16, 16 episodes, which is only which is only six more episodes and the mm -hmm. Christmas. So so uh, substantial enough to make it worthwhile. My whole thing has always been this. The fan base is so loyal and so good and such a positive fan base that I, I, I don't want to disrespect them or mess with them and make them wait for such a long period of time. I don't want to lose them. I think that such a giant gap between seasons, we we can lose some of this this momentum we've got going. This it's been getting better and better. The fans are getting the, the base is getting bigger and bigger. I don't want to lose that. So I figure even if we could have another month, maybe two months, you know, six to eight more episodes to keep it going, all of a sudden that hiatus is two months less and we keep it going. The momentum keeps going. I, I really think that there's some discussion to be had here on this one.